lucet in tenebris. Fear. It could be a good thing to alert you from danger, but what about when it becomes a dictator and you its slave? Chained to the fear of loss, of pain, of rejection, of failure, abuse, or any other fear. You see, when under a constant state of fear, the brain activates a stress response called the flight or fight response. Stress hormones are released into the bloodstream, leaving you on high alert and preparedness for danger. Research shows that over 70 to 90% of doctors' visits are related with anxiety and stress. But was this the way we were supposed to live life? It's interesting to observe when our first parents, Adam and Eve, initially experienced this feeling. God placed them in a garden free of fear and danger, where everyone lived for the good of others. But one day Adam and Eve decided to selfishly look out for their own interests, thinking they would gain something better. A strange feeling overtook them. It's recorded that they were both afraid and hid. We now live in a world where selfishness and danger surrounds us all the time, and fear is an epidemic. But what if we could focus instead on someone who has your back covered all the time, who can solve all our problems, who can protect you from all danger and strengthen you in all hardships? We were not designed to experience fear. We were created to experience perfect joy, perfect peace, and no fear. And this is what God wants for you even now, if you put your trust in the following promise and make it your own.
Someone said, "Don't tell God how big are your problems. Rather, tell your problems how big is your God. If you give Him a chance, He offers to strengthen you, help you, and be your daily companion. He has never let anyone down who puts their trust in Him."